Hiya! Toy fans, D21 Beast Rob here, back with another figure review for you guys here today. And today we're looking at the Power Rangers Legacy figures released by Bandai. Of course, we've got the Mighty Morphin Heroes, Zack the Black Ranger, or Adam if you prefer, Billy the Blue Ranger in a rather unflattering position, thanks a lot Bandai, and we've got Jason or Rocky the Red Ranger. Now I've got to give a huge thank you to Jeff and my brother Greg for making this review possible. Jeff actually picked up the Red Ranger for me all the way back in August for my birthday, and for Christmas my brother Greg gave me Billy and Jeff has given me the Black Ranger. I think we can all agree I've got some more phenomenal people looking out for me. The packaging for these figures is very similar to what we saw with the Green Ranger that I've already reviewed. We've got a window box packaging that does house the figure inside as well as their accessories. What few accessories they have, and we'll get to those in a minute. And then each box does feature an image of the respective ranger in the lower left. And as we flip this package around, you can see that each Mighty Morphin Ranger comes with a Build-A-Figure piece to build the Dino Megazord. Alright Toy Fans, well that's the packaging. Let's get these rangers out of the box and see what they're all about. And here we have our rangers out of the packaging, Toy Fans. I'm finding a lot to like about each one of these figures. Unfortunately, each one of them have a few minor drawbacks that keep them from being the outstanding figure that the Green Ranger was that I've already looked at. Let's start with the Red Ranger. The Mighty Morphin Red Ranger is from the same wave of figures as the Green Ranger that we've already looked at. The sculpting of the figure is largely show accurate to a T. All the detail is there on the helmet, the morpher, the diamonds on the costume. Bandai has even sculpted the line texture in the back of the gloves and on the boots, a detail that many of you probably never even noticed until just now. Special attention has been given to the paintwork on this figure. I don't notice any major flaws or blemishes, and the attention to detail really makes the morpher and the helmet for this figure pop and look just like it did on the TV show. That paintwork even continues to the one accessory this Red Ranger comes with, his Blade Blaster, which itself looks fairly show accurate. Unfortunately though, we've been given the Blade Blaster in its stored position. It's neither Blade nor Blaster. It's just meant to sit in the holster. Considering the Green Ranger figure came with the Sword of Darkness and the Dragon Flute as well as some interchangeable hands, it would have been nice to see the Red Ranger come with more than essentially the vanilla posed version of his sidearm. Now apparently Bandai says the Red Ranger's Power Sword is still coming at some point down the line. I'm a little concerned that Bandai plans to bleed us dry by including the Red Ranger's Power Sword with a totally different figure. Or worse yet, making all of the Mighty Morphin Ranger weapons part of some sort of convention exclusive box set. Time will tell, but Bandai, I implore you to do the right thing. Posability is just as great for the Red Ranger as we saw with the Green Ranger, and I don't find myself having too much trouble getting him into any position I desire. In fact, I really like this Red Ranger figure. My only major complaints were that he doesn't come with enough accessories, but I guess we do get that Megazord Build-A-Figure piece. And my particular Red Ranger figure is missing the pin in his right ankle. The foot seems to hold on well enough when I'm trying to pose him around, but it's also a rather annoying QC issue, and now I've got to make sure I keep track of his foot all the time. Now let's talk about black and blue. Sculpting wise, the black and the blue ranger are nearly identical to the red ranger. Blue ranger and black ranger are actually from wave 2 of this legacy power ranger series. And unfortunately, wave 2 comes with a rather glaring paint issue. All three mighty morphin rangers in this wave feature silver belts instead of white belts. Also, under further examination, you may notice a difference in the morpher buckles between all three of these rangers. Jason, or Rocky if you prefer, features some black detailing around the red ring of his morpher buckle. When you compare that morpher buckle to the black ranger and the blue ranger, you'll notice that same black detailing is missing. Bandai has admitted this was an error at the factory, but they've also said they don't plan on reissuing these rangers with the correct paint colors. So if you want to complete a team of Mighty Morphin Rangers, you're going to have to deal with the Black Ranger, the Blue Ranger, and the Pink Ranger wearing belts that aren't show accurate. Like the Red Ranger, Blue Ranger and Black Ranger only come with Blade Blaster accessories in their neutral position, designed to be holstered on their hip. That also means that Billy does not come with his Power Lance, nor does Zack or Adam, if you'd prefer, come included with his Power Axe. But both figures still feature that same great range of articulation. Oh, and lest we forget to mention, Blue Ranger does include the Triceratops portion of the Dino Megazord, while the Black Ranger includes one of the arms for the Dino Megazord, fittingly created from the Mighty Mastodon. Alright Toy Fans, well that's my review of the Mighty Morphin Red, Blue, and Black Rangers, part of the 6-inch Legacy line released by Bandai in 2016. Overall, despite the paint errors with black and blue, and that weird ankle issue with the Red Ranger, I have to admit, I do really enjoy these figures, and I still look forward to finishing the Dino Megazord. 
When considering the sculpting, the paintwork, the posability, and the general quality of these figures, for 20 bucks you could certainly do much worse. Although if Bandai wanted to throw in some actual accessories, they could certainly do much better. That said, if you're a Ranger fan and you see these figures at retail, I say you go ahead and pick them up. And a special note to you collectors, every figure in this series is limited edition. Bandai actually hopes to be able to produce a figure for every series of Power Rangers that's come thus far. So if you're a fan of Mighty Morphin and you see them on the shelves, pick them up before you miss your chance, as there will not be any reissues. And that's my review toy fans. Are you now or have you been a fan of Power Rangers in the past? Which series has been your favorite? If you guys like what you saw here, do me a big favor and give this video a big thumbs up. You guys can always keep up with me on Twitter and Instagram at D21Beast. And I'll see you guys next time when we get back to action.